video. Hi guys, Neil Waterhouse. This week's video is a step-by-step -step showing how to add variations to your eBay listings. For anybody new to this channel, my name is Neil Waterhouse. I've been selling on eBay for 23 years and I'm the author of Million Dollar eBay Business from Home. So let's launch straight into it. So just we're on the same page, here's an example of an eBay multi-variation listing selling t-shirts. Notice that with this multi-variation listing, you can select the size and the color of the t-shirts. That's an eBay multi-variation listing. And this video shows you how to set it up. So let's get started. For this demonstration, I'll create a brand new listing. And to do that, click on the sell button at the top of any page on eBay. Then create listing, then single listing, then search for the correct category for whatever you're going to list. For this example, I'll choose men's t-shirts. Notice as I type, eBay automatically shows what it believes with the relevant category. One of the suggestions is men's t-shirts, which is correct, so I'll select that category. Next, eBay makes product suggestions based on popular items, but if the item that you're selling is not one of the suggested items, then just scroll to the bottom of the page and select continue without selecting a product. Now eBay takes me to the listing description page where you can enter all the details about the item that you're selling. Notice on this page, there's a variations button. Now, if you're not seeing the variations button, this is normally because of one of two reasons. The first reason is that in some countries, you must have an eBay store for the variations button to show. If you don't currently have an eBay store, the variations button will not show if you're in one of those countries. Now, if you don't have an eBay store, if you'd like to know when and how to set up an eBay store, I'll put a link on the screen on below to a previous week's video showing how to do that. The second reason the variations button may not be showing is variations only work with fixed price listings. Multivariation listings do not work with auction listings. If you scroll down this same page, there's a box where you can select fixed price for listing or auction. So if you're planning to do a multivariation listing, select fixed price. Okay, so hopefully your create variations button is now showing. Now, just before we create a variation, Notice that eBay has automatically added these variations. For this demonstration, I'm going to click the Removal button to remove these variations. The next step is to click the Create Variations button. On this page, choose which variations you have, and you can also add more variations by clicking the Add button. Next, you can add any other variation that you like. For this example, I'll add the variation Color. Next, I'll click on color. Then it's just a matter of clicking on whichever variations that suits the item that you're listing. For this demonstration, I'll click on black, red, and gold. And for size, I'll create a large size and then select all three sizes. Notice that once you click on whichever variations that you choose, those options instantly show on the right hand side. Once you've finished adding your variations and options, click on the blue continue button. Next, upload your photos, just like you do with any other non-multi-variation listing. However, you can allocate a different photo for each variation. So when a buyer selects, say, a red t-shirt, eBay displays a red t-shirt. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see all the different variations that you've created. Here you can add your price for each variation, and you can also add the quantity, and also, if you don't have any of these variations, or you're missing one, or two or more variations, you can delete any variation that you don't have. Also, if you use a program like Scarcity Manager to automatically check your supplier's inventory levels, you'll need to add a SKU number to each variation for Scarcity Manager to work with eBay. The SKU number can be absolutely anything, but just make sure that each SKU number for each variation is different. After you've done that, click on the blue Save button and Close button. The next steps are just like optimizing any other non multi-variation eBay listing. I'm not going to go into listing optimization in this video as I've done that in a previous week's video, but if you missed that video showing how to optimize and increase eBay sales fast, I'll put a link on the screen down below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you found any value in this video, please give it a thumbs up as it helps the channel. And make sure you hit the subscribe button to the no fluff ad-free channel that teaches step by step how anybody can make a full-time living from their home using less than $100. Until next week, stay safe, list more, sell more. There's no water house.